Humans have accomplished numerous missions to different planets thus far. Although it's difficult to gather information about planets using telescopes on Earth, scientists have designed specialized probes that travel to the planets to collect data. While some planetary missions present a greater challenge, sending a spacecraft to a planet is generally not a difficult task for scientists, especially in comparison to star missions. In fact, we have now ventured inside our own star, the Sun, through the Parker Solar Probe. The probe has reached the sun's outer atmosphere, known as the corona. One of the biggest questions is how scientists have designed a spacecraft that can withstand the high temperature without melting. Today, we will dig deeper into this mission and explain why the spacecraft remains safe, even in such extreme heat. So buckle up your belts and let's start our today's video. You are watching Futuristic YouTube channel. Do subscribe the channel. The Parker Solar Probe is the first human-made spacecraft to reach the sun, creating history and captivating the science lovers. The probe has entered the sun's outer atmosphere, the corona, where temperatures reach an astonishing 1 million degrees Celsius. It is remarkable that the probe has not melted and its instruments are still functioning properly in such an inhospitable environment. The reason behind this lies partially in the corona itself. When designing the Parker Solar Probe, Scientists aim to understand only the outer layer of the sun's atmosphere. The corona, which means crown in Latin, is a vast region of plasma that extends for millions of kilometers in space. Just as a solid turns into a liquid when heated and a gas when heated further, a gas turns into plasma when heated to an extremely high temperature. The corona is usually hidden by the brightness of the sun, but can be observed during a total solar eclipse or with an instrument called a coronagraph. A coronagraph blocks the strong rays from the sun, allowing the corona to be viewed clearly. The corona has been a long-standing puzzle for scientists. The laws of thermodynamics state that heat cannot flow from a colder object to a hotter one, leading to questions about how heat transfer occurs. In physics, anything with a temperature above absolute zero which is minus 273.15 degrees Celsius, is capable of transferring heat. Absolute zero is the lowest possible temperature in the universe. Heat transfer can occur between two cold objects as well. For example, if object X has a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius and object Y has a temperature of 2 degrees Celsius, heat will flow from X to Y, as X is slightly warmer. This demonstrates that even though both objects are considered cold, heat can still flow from a slightly warmer object to a slightly colder one. Similarly, in the case of the sun, the scenario becomes much more complicated due to its size. Although the surface temperature of the sun is around 5,800 degrees Celsius, its atmosphere reaches up to 1 million degrees Celsius. This discrepancy can be explained by the fact that all the energy of the sun originates from its center, where nuclear fusion reactions take place. If this model is followed, then the energy released from nuclear fusion should reach the maximum surface first, followed by the atmosphere. However, in the case of the sun, the temperature of the atmosphere is higher than that of the surface, which is a paradox. According to scientists, there is still an unknown mechanism that is heating the corona more than the surface of the sun. After extensive research, they discovered that despite the high temperature of the corona, its particle density is low. Particle density refers to the number of particles in a unit area and is higher in solid objects than in gaseous objects. In simpler terms, when particles are close to each other, the particle density is high and when they are far apart, the particle density is low. The distinction between heat and temperature arises due to the low particle density of the corona. In everyday language, these two terms are used interchangeably, but in physics they are not. The particles in all objects in the universe are always vibrating, and this vibration is referred to as temperature in physics. When the particles vibrate rapidly, the temperature is high, and when they vibrate slowly, the temperature is low. Heat, on the other hand, is the ability of an object to transfer energy. When these vibrating particles cause the particles of another object to vibrate, it is called heat transfer. A fascinating aspect of this phenomenon is that an object can have a high temperature but still have low heat. For instance, the particles in an object can vibrate rapidly, but
but still not transfer that energy to another object. The reason you would burn your hand if you put it in boiling water, but not in a hot oven, is because the particle density of water is much higher than that of hot air. This makes the effect of boiling water much more intense and damaging. Similarly, the Parker Solar Probe has been able to survive due to the mechanism of heat transfer. Because the density of the corona is much less than the surface of the sun, the hot particles do not collide with the spacecraft. If the probe were sent to the surface of the sun, it would immediately melt because there are more particles that would attack it simultaneously. To protect the Parker Solar Probe, a heat shield is attached to the front of the spacecraft that always faces the sun and absorbs all the impacts. It has been designed by scientists to withstand a temperature of up to 1400 degrees Celsius, which is still a very high temperature. For comparison, the temperature of lava from a volcano typically ranges between 700 and 1200 degrees Celsius. Despite this, the heat shield can easily withstand the temperature of 1400 degrees Celsius. This is because it has been specifically designed to protect the spacecraft from the extreme temperatures of the sun's corona. The Thermal Protection System TPS, of the Parker Solar Probe plays a critical role in ensuring the spacecraft's survival in the harsh environment near the sun. The TPS consists of a carbon composite foam shield that is attached between two carbon plates, providing extra protection. Despite its thin design, with a diameter of 2.5 meters and a thickness of 4.5 inches, the shield is capable of withstanding temperatures up to 1650 degrees Celsius. The shield is designed to keep the temperature of the Parker Solar Probe within 30 degrees Celsius, ensuring that the spacecraft remains fully protected. The design team has taken great care in wiring the instruments on the spacecraft, using sapphire crystal tubes to keep the wiring separate from the heat source. Additionally, the wiring used for the instruments is made of niobium, which has a melting point of 2470 degrees Celsius, making it ideal for use in this environment. The design and materials used in the TPS of the Parker Solar Probe have proven to be highly effective, allowing the spacecraft to safely operate in the extreme conditions near the sun. The Parker Solar Probe is not only engaged in a groundbreaking study of the sun, but is also powered by the celestial body itself. The spacecraft is equipped with solar panels, which conserve fuel by harnessing the energy radiating from the sun. As the probe ventures closer to the sun, the risk of damage to these panels increases. To mitigate this risk, a state-of-the-art water cooling system has been installed on the Parker. This system constantly circulates approximately one gallon of water keeping the solar panels at optimal temperature and functioning smoothly. In addition to the cooling system, the Parker is equipped with seven sensors designed to detect the direct heat and light from the sun. Whenever the direct sunlight hits the spacecraft, these sensors immediately send a signal to the central computer, which promptly adjusts the position of the probe to avoid excessive exposure to heat and light. This proactive approach helps to ensure the longevity and success of the mission. So this is how Parker's solar probe keeps itself from melting due to the heat of the sun. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.